What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Tim aka the Mad Hatter and I'm back from my little hiatus there, my forced hiatus because my computer was broken. I actually went to Best Buy today, got a brand new computer, got a desktop this time instead of a laptop so I think that'll last a little longer and it was also a little cheaper so that was super nice. Um, yeah, this was the first game I played recording on my new computer, first game edited. So this is a pretty momentous occasion guys. It's pretty freaking awesome to have have this new machine it's so fast compared to my old one I got my old computer like junior year of high school so it was super old and this brand new one man it's insane how far computers have come just in the past three years um, <laughs> I mean it's totally insane how much faster this one is and uh, it's super easy to edit so you guys can definitely expect a lot of sick videos coming from me uh, just continuing my top 25 series here going with Michigan because I used UCLA last time. Tell me how I, that isn't a backwards pass right there. I swear to God that should have been a fumble. I don't understand the physics of this game sometimes. Uh, right here he goes for a screen and doesn't get it. But, yeah, so this guy's going with Miami. I thought Michigan would pretty be a pretty good matchup. Also good karma using Michigan on my first... Uh, first game with this new computer and everything like that and as you can see we're going off with Devin Gardner baby uh, and we hit him with the hurdle you know how the Mad Hatter does um <laughs> funny story about Devin Gardner actually he went to high school in Inkster which is uh it's probably about 45 minutes away from where I live in Ann Arbor but one of my buddies was on the football team in my high school and they played against Ex Inkster, so his claim to fame all the time, whenever anyone mentions Devin Gardner, he's just like, oh, I tackled him, I tackled him. <laughs> it's freaking hilarious. That's all he ever says. He tackled him maybe one time in that game. Uh, in high school, Devin Gardner was amazing, so that's pretty funny to hear about. Um, uh, I get him to a fourth down right here. He just hits the angle route with the uh, – with the running back, unfortunately, I switched it up to man coverage, and that's a great man beater. But right here, we get a fumble. Chris Berman, fumble. So that was a super clutch play right there. Hit him with the user catch, and now we're back to work on offense, going with the Michigan Wolverines. Go Big Blue. And you can't stop, stop Devin Gardner. I mean, for real, he's a beast. He's the second fastest quarterback in the game. Probably a little overrated, but oh well, because we got dots. We got dots to green. Nice. I try to hit him with the hurdle one more time. But I get only down to the one-yard line. I try to run the hurry up. Just a cheeky little screen play right here. A cheeky play. But uh, he stops it, and I lose some yards. But that's all right. We go to the comeback route and get the nice touchdown. So I'm up 14-7. to And check it out right here. I pass commit because I see his running back coming out of the backfield. And right here, my computer actually baits him into a dirty interception. Uh, Joe Bolden right there makes a really nice play. And now I have the ball and a chance to take a two-possession lead, which is always super nice in this game, especially with how bad the defense is this year. I really <laughs> I feel lucky any time I get a stop. So this game is going perfectly for me. And Jeremy Gallon right here gets into the end zone. I decide to go for two because I got to have a nasty two-point play that basically is it's really hard to stop. So right there, I hit up my slant out and get the two-point conversion. I'm up 15 now. 22 to 7 this game is going great um now i just have to stop him on defense but as we all know that's tough to do in this year's game uh right here he just tosses it up to his receiver it seems like but somehow he gets inside position breaks the tackle and almost goes in for the touchdown but i decide to horse collar him which is kind of mean but you know i'm gonna do what i'm gonna do but then I go back to playing super bad defense, and he ends up getting to the end zone on this nice little curl route. So I'm only up eight now, and I have a little bit of time before halftime to get a field goal or a touchdown or something to make it a two-possession lead going into halftime, and I also get ball. So that would be a real ball buster for this kid. Um, and that's just what I go ahead and do here. I, I put myself into field goal range with Devin Funches right there, the beast and I just pick up maybe 10 more yards on another smart routed out route to get myself even more in field goal range, and I go ahead and take my three points as time expires in the first half, so I'm up 25-14, 11-point lead. He feels the need to kick an onside kick. That's not working out. Joe Reynolds with the recovery, and now I'm back to work on offense, and there's no way this kid's going to stop me. He hasn't been doing it all game. You can tell he has his shit on aggressive right here because I'm breaking so many tackles. I wanted to take that to the house right there. That would have been a nasty touchdown. Oh, well, we can't all have highlight plays every play, so uh, oh, well. And now I'm just kind of chewing clock because I know I have this game in the bag, and I get an overthrow from Devin Gardner. That was not hot, so we get a fourth down, 
and I just lob it up to my comeback route. That's such a bread and butter play against man coverage. If you guys haven't tried lobbing the comeback route, I suggest you try that. Maybe don't try it for the first time in an online game because it takes a little timing to pull off. So go in practice mode, mess with the comeback route, lobbing it, bulleting it, you know, just mess with it. It's it's a really good route. Uh, if you haven't checked out Masa Chappie's video on the comeback route, go. I suggest you go do that. Um, and I'll put up a tip video here with how I run the comeback route pretty soon because I, I it's become one of my favorite routes actually in this year's game. I love that it's a hot route and you can just run it anytime you want pretty much. But uh, this game is actually winding down right here. I... I'm up, what, 32-14, 18 points, so that's three possessions, and he doesn't have much of a chance to come back. I should have caught a pick right there off, off my own back. Unfortunately, I don't, but next play, he goes to the curl route or something, and I get the interception, and he's fed up. He's had enough, so that's a great game right there, and guys, I got a new computer, so I'm putting out crazy content. I would love it if you would like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm the Mad Hatter. Peace.